This video describes a new procedure in Stat Graphics 18 for creating heat maps. A heat map is used to display the value of a quantitative variable at all combinations of two categorical factors. Here you see a heat map created to display fish counts at 13 locations in the Gulf of Maine over a period of 41 years. It's easy to see that the counts were consistently highest in George's Bank and the central Gulf of Maine. Fish counts were consistently low, both in the Bay of Fundy and in Brown's Bank. You'll also notice that several locations have relatively high counts in the years around 1978-1979. In this map, the value of fish count is shown by varying the color from dark blue to dark red. You can change the palette to something else if you prefer. To show you how to create a heat map in Stack Graphics 18, I've loaded into the data sheet a file called Gulf of Maine. This file has a column for each of the 13 locations and a row for each of the 41 years. The numbers in the data sheet are the observed fish counts. To create the map, I'll go to Plot, Exploratory Plots, and select Heat Map. The first dialog box will ask me how my data is set up. In my case, there are multiple data columns one for each level of location. I could instead, as I'll show you in just a minute, set things up using a data and code column format. For this data though, it's multiple data columns. I'll now select the columns containing the data and put it in the data field and select year to be the row category. When I press OK, an initial map will be created. I'm going to want to make a couple changes to this map. First off, I want to switch things around so that location is on the vertical axis and year is on the horizontal axis. To do that, I'll click my right mouse button, select Analysis Options, and check the box that says switch rows and columns. The next thing I'd like to do is reduce the font size because some of the labels are overlapping others. I can do that on the analysis toolbar go by going to the slider that says text font size and clicking it a couple times to reduce the font. Finally, I'd like to change how the colors are set up. Right now they go from 0 to 213. I think I can do better than that, so I'll press the right mouse button again, go to Analysis Options, and this time tell it to go from 0 to 120 by 30. Now I've got the map I want. Incidentally, if you'd like to change the color palette, maybe you don't like blue to red, you can press the right mouse button, go to Graphics Options, and select Palette. You can either choose one of the built-in palettes or define your own. I'm going to select a monochromatic palette here, press OK, and now you can see that the values are shaded they become darker as the fish counts get higher. To show you the other way you can set up your data to do a heat map, I've loaded into the Stack Graphics 18 data sheet a file called Crime Rates. Crime Rates has a row for every combination of state and year. It's the 50 states in the District of Columbia and the year is 1965 to 2010. The individual columns then have 
information about what the rate of different kinds of crime was in a particular year in a particular state. To create the heat map, I'll go to the main menu to plot Exploratory Plots Heat Map. This time I'll indicate to the program that I have data and code columns. All of my data is in a single column and then I have code columns for the categorical factors. On the dialog box it appears, I'll indicate to the program that I'd like to plot the total crime rates. On the rows, I'd like to put the states and I'll, to define the columns, I'll select year. This gives me the initial heat map and again I can reduce the size of the font in order to make the map more readable. You can see a lot of variability in the crime rates both from one state to another and also over the years from 1965 to 2010. In 1965 crime was relatively low everywhere. It increased as we got into the 70s and 80s, particularly in locations like the District of Columbia, Florida, and Arizona. Thankfully, it's gone back down again after the turn of the century.